What's up guys, this is Geekfreak01 aka Vinny and today I am back with a brand new video and today Tekken 8 apparently has a closed beta going on for PS5 and Xbox but apparently I am not one of those people who were lucky enough to get it into the beta matter of fact I don't have a next gen console Claudio is coming back for Tekken 8 and I'm honestly kind of curious of what he's going to be doing because I heard that he's got like somewhat of a new design even though his design in Tekken 7 was a little okay at the very least and some of his attacks and powers were actually really cool but I'm actually kind of curious of what they're going to do with him in this game entirely since he's returning so uh, yeah let's get into it three two one go It's been such a long time since we've seen anything off of this game. Alright, let's see what this... Let's see what Claudio is all about. Okay. Oh! He's got his powers and stuff. This is going to be ease. Serafino? Okay, I don't know. Bro, what? He's such a completely different character now. Is he actually using his powers now? Dude. There's the taunts again. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're going in for another combo. Dude, he actually looks really cool in this game. Dude! Claudio. Oh my god. He's got the arrow moves again, too, in his moveset. Oh, here comes his rage art. Arrivederci? He referenced JoJo? What is he trying to fulfill his duty for? Ex excuse me? Because I don't even remember if Claudio was that important in the story. So, right off the bat, Claudio's design and look actually looks a lot more unique than I think in Tekken 7. Because whoever decided to give him like some Final Fantasy spells and all this crazy shit that he has now he feels like a a different character now than he was in Tekken 7 but regardless though I'm actually kind of curious of what his story is going to be be about though because I remember him being like a small role in Tekken 7's story mode but in like a separate story mode he captured Xiao Yu so I don't know if that's still being focused on he all of a sudden has like some crazy stuff that people will be able to pull off in this game. And his design right here with like the torn sleeve. Like it, it looks like his, no the sleeve looks like it was brand new or something. But the black tape that he has or the black wrappings that he has on his hands that actually looks a lot cooler. He seems a lot more cocky and a bit more confident to get his job done I'm assuming. So is he trying... What does he mean by, like, fulfilling his duty? Does that mean, is he, like, trying to hunt down the last Mishima, which is, like, Kazuya? Or is he trying to kill Jin? Like, I don't know, man. I'm kind of curious to what this is going to bring, but I don't think it's going to bring anything really important to the table because Claudio didn't really have much to go through in the story mode, mainly. He was just only there to help out Heihachi and... That was about it, you know? But regardless, though, I'm happy that he's back. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of this character, but I actually think he does look really cool in this game than he does in the 7th. But uh, regardless, though, uh, I think he'll be really fun to play with all the unique effects that he's got going on. Like, for an example, if you look at, like, all of his hits, uh, all of it is basically his powers coming into fruition. So you can see, like, the circly spell Kingdom Hearts looking shit. But it honestly looks really cool that they gave him more moves. And then the arrow is not really a rage art. Well, technically it already is, but 
who who even knows at this point but uh yeah folks i think that's about it for this video uh claudio actually looks really sick in this game i'm glad they improved him a lot more and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what gameplay footage they're going to show off for the closed beta and hopefully they need to show off Yoshimitsu because I wasn't expecting Claudio to be announced right off the bat. But uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.